but we do have the pre-recorded video so we could um yeah already start with the presentation and see if jan joins oh this later. is a pre-recorded oh sorry <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Welcome, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy your break. So my name is Mohammed, and um, I'm here with my colleague Alan. We are going to be presenting. Yes. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so we are going to be your facilitators for the next thirty minutes. Um, I just realized the session is pre-recorded, so we are not going to have um, Johan and Jans here. I think that means um, we are going to play the recording and if there are any questions or comments you have for them, put them in the chat and we can forward them to Johan and Jan and hopefully get some feedback from them. So um, yeah, we are ready if there's video can be broadcast now, that would be awesome. All right, so this... Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Jan Almiras, and I'm a solution architect at Orange Innovation in Lyon, a small city in Brittany in the west of France. I have been working for a few years now on Wikipedia data, and more specifically on Wikidata as part of several internal projects. The small name of this project, r 2 is linked to its use for APIs and a nod to the world of Star Wars. Now I'm going to show you what this project is all about through this presentation, supercharging Wikidata with external IASs and new entity type. The goal of this project is to create a lightweight database from Wikidata, enriched with new IASs and improved entity typing. The first goal is to increase the number of aliases of each item to improve item identification. The second one is to create a new property for object. The idea is to create a generic main type property for type recognition. The source purpose is to create new relations between objects to be used in enterprise knowledge graph. And at the end, I will show you the use of a Kibana to help data exploration, error detection, and to find ways to improve database integrity. Before continuing, I'm going to describe the first use of R2D2 database. The first objective was to retrieve information from the Wikidata hyperlinks. I also needed to retrieve the redirect links in order to have all the information. For internal purpose, colleagues have asked me to generate specific lexicons for the needs. Someone work on the recognition and other uh, on uh, name entity detection. This project has also been used to identify items for several projects. The main use is the detection of name entities. In this case, the answers are often ambiguous because the type may be different. The ambiguity is even more difficult to resolve when they are subject of the same type. For example, there are several cities with the label Paris. Now let's look at the back office of data collection. The first stage uses a set of files to prepare the data for indexing. I will detail the entries later. The second stage feeds the index specific for each language according to the filtering criteria described in the configuration file. The input data is obviously the Wikidata dumps for generating language-specific indexes. A set of filters are applied to rank only the most representative data. I used Wikipedia SQL dump for certain types of calculations such as page rank. I also used mapping data to integrate the DBpedia taxonomy. Finally, I added Wikipedia summaries from DBpedia Hub. The output data, that which is indexed, refers to the main description data. Other data is added depending on the project. There is an index by language. For the moment, there is an index for French and another for English, but it's easy to extend the system to other language. The principal informations are Wikipedia ID, 
label, description, instance of, type, Wikipedia, URI uh, with redirection and page rank. And I add uh, other information for project's purpose, like geolocalization, date begin and end, population, occupation, imaging, and so on. Now I'm going to present you the use of R2D2 API. Uh, for that, I'm going to make a search request on uh, Wikidata ID. I choose English index and the Wikidata ID Q42. In response, I got the item Douglas Idam with several information, label, image, date of birth, date of uh, death, the sum of uh, alias URI, all the alias text. There are alias that come from uh, Wikidata, redirection, and other information like a pseudonym. We got to the main tip, actually to human, DBpedia, person, and other information like uh, subtips which correspond to occupation. And we got the summary, the past uh, DBpedia, and the page range. Now I'm going to present you how to retrieve label or aliases with R2D2 API. To get a label, I choose a London and English index. I put the side to 10. I decide to change the side to 100. And here we can see we got uh, 43 hits for London. There are different types of London cities in Canada, a record label, and so on. In the second time, I'm going to show you to how to get alias a retro item with the alias. I choose Ville Lumière, the English index. There is no response because it's not exactly a good uh, autograph. And thanks to the alias database, we retrieve the good answer, which is Paris. One of the main features of R2D2 is the addition of new aliases to improve the detection of named entities and other items. For the moment, the two main sources are Wikidata dumps and the dump of redirect page from Wikipedia. In Wikidata dump, uh, we retrieve all Wikidata aliases for each item. Huh? We add uh, other aliases who come from specific properties like official name, native label, nickname, and so on. With Wikipedia redirection dump, I use a redirection, in this example, Panam redirect to Paris uh, to store new alias, in this case, Panam. To illustrate alias indexing, I perform a search request via the API with Karl Marx. The result shows all the aliases selected. Uh, for Karl Marx, there are 19 aliases. Another index details the source of the alias, Wikidata, redirection, or property. Here is a pseudonym. In this slide, you can also see some of the other information stored in the index. Now I'm going to talk about the main type. There are useful properties for identifying what an element is, but this property could have several values in Wikidata. So I decided to create a R2D2 specific property, the main type. There are two main types in R2D2. The first one is a homemade main type. It's a manual selection from a graph database or YandDB where only some properties are stored, instance of, subclass of, a part of. Actually, 19 main tab was defined. Each main tab is an aggregation of Wikidata ID. For example, the main tab city is an aggregation on 291 Wikidata ID. But there are no other main tab like a conflict 
works and several points of interest such as castle, museum, restaurant, tourist attraction, and so on. The other main tab is the DBpedia main type. I keep in the index the full path of uh, DBpedia taxonomy and I select just the most relevant uh, information in the past. For city, the most important is city. I'm going to present you some examples of usage of R2D2 database. The most current use is the data identification to retrieve items information with a label or an alias. The second one is the data association. The summary API is used with a multi-match search to discover new links between item or to retrieve item using multiple keywords. Data visualization with Kibana allows improvement of the main type, identification of error, on dates, your localization, and so on, identification of differences between Wikipedia info box and Wikidata information. Taking a step back on the representativeness of data, cultural and temporal aspects. Identify interesting data for new services. In this example, I'm using R2D2 API to retrieve one or more items associated with two keywords. The first keyboard is the name and entity, Les Miserables. The second one is the date. The search engine will search the database for all items that have these two keywords in the summary. For these two words, there is only one entry, Victor Hugo, a famous French author born in 1802. Now I'm going to show you just the usage of uh, Kibana for R2D2 database. I've chosen the English index. Here I selection the number of values that I want. Up. And uh, these are the label uh, that are the more represented in R2D2 English index. The Washington Townships uh, have uh, particularly uh, 200 records with this label. Then, I add a filter to get only the main tips value person. In this example, we see that uh, John Smith is a more represented uh, label for English and uh, John Browns has a 41 label called John Browns. In Kibana, I can change the index. Here I take a French index and just modify the filter because uh, it don't have exactly the same value. And uh, we found uh, only nine uh, records for John Smith in uh, French database. On this Kibana dashboard, we can see the distribution of items by main types. The number of items seems small, but as a reminder, only items with the associated Wikipedia record are taken into account, and a set of items is filtered, such as homonym pages. As we can see, there are almost 3,500,000 items for English index and 2,300,000 items for French index. There are four possibilities, items with either one or the other main tip, those with one of each and those without. Approximately half of the items are for R2D2 main tip. These tips are distributed in 19 categories manually defined. Approximately half of the items have a DBpedia main tip. The Skibana dashboard shows us the difference in population distribution between India and China. Both countries currently have over a billion inhabitants. 
I made two queries on the English index. The first takes into account all items with a population greater than 1 million inhabitants, well paint of interest. The second one also takes into, into account the city main tips, green point of interest. In conclusion, populated areas with more than 1 million inhabitants are concentrated in Chennai's major eastern cities, while in India there are more evenly distributed across the districts. On this Kibana dashboard, I wanted to display the element seat of special scientific interest. I found that practically all the points of interest were located in England. This information only comes from the DBpedia mapping, which must have been used to tip the corresponding item. Now this information is stored in property P1435 heritage designation. This Kibana board illustrates the differences between Wikipedia infobox and Wikidata properties. I made two queries on the English index. The first one takes into account all items with conflict R2D2 main type without dates in Wikidata, being point of interest. The second one takes into account all items with conflict R2D2 main type but with a date specified in Wikidata, yellow point of interest. Then I searched Wikipedia for a conflict that didn't have a date. I choose Lanyon because I live here. It's in French because there is no Wikipedia input for this item in English index. On Wikipedia, the date of the conflict is present. There are several difficulties with retrieving information from Infobox. Some Infobox information can be different according to the language. Sometimes the population indicated may vary because the indicated number is for different dates. Wikidata is a huge source of information with both good and bad sides. Some properties are more important than others in typing domain in sense of versus subclass of. There are often mix-ups between the two and confusion between semantics. For example, horse can be a taxon and a vermicular noun is not the same semantic consideration. I put some entries to granular. Uh, several items corresponding to the title of each chapter of a book. It's like you're trying to store all natural integers in Wikidata. There are differences between Wikipedia Infobox and Wikidata information. It depends on the language and the date. These encyclopedia are alive, evolving with times. I've observed a lot of Wikipedia and Wikidata entries generated by bots, especially since 2013. Wikipedia and Wikidata are bound to come under the influence of large language models in the years to come. That say, there are some interesting prospects. Certain topics remain to be developed. Where does the data come from? Both, Oman, both? How can we verify the veracity of the data? How to study the history of the data? Future work on R2D2 will focus on three areas. Create a bot to enrich a Wikibase database from R2D2 for an internal project, Enterprise Knowledge Graph. Implement and propose bot for Wikidata. The second objective is to improve ontology to correct R2D2 main types, to add new ones, to add new sources, to enable better classification. The final short-term objective is to use the summary API to generate new relationships specific to the telecom business domain. My presentation is finished. Thank you for your attention. I would like to thank Pascal Belek for helping me generate the main type R2D2, Yuan Shabu and Frederick Erledon for their advice, Halak Hang for inviting me to take part in this conference. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Um, I'm just wondering, is Yuan here? I don't think Yuan is here with us, but that is fine. So uh, I'm looking at the charts. I don't see any questions though. Uh, okay. If you do have any questions, even later on, you can put it in the chat and we would forward it to you on to take a look and respond. Um, so thank you everyone um, for attending. We are going to go on a two hour long break. Um, so it's time to, you know, go for lunch, dinner, whatever you like doing. Just take some fresh air if you like. And we would come back at 8.30 Berlin time for our next session around the Wikibase REST API. But in the meantime, for those of you who prefer to relax by playing games, Lydia is going to be running a game in the game room. And <laughs> your first task is to figure out where the game room is. So good luck to all of you. <laughs> I don't know if there's a prize for people who get to the game room first, but um, maybe there is. All right, thank you everyone. Um, we would go on our longer awaited break now if people don't have questions to ask. <laughs> All right, bye. Thank you everyone, see you later, bye.